Hey guys, let's consider this example in first angle orthographic projection. Given the front, left and plan views, we are required to first draw the primary auxiliary view of the front view about the axis AA. First we label each edge on the front and plan views. To construct the primary auxiliary view, use the current view to project edges 1 to 7 about axis AA to obtain height dimensions and use the previous view to obtain the width dimensions. Use a compass or ruler to measure off distances from the previous view, which is the plan view, and mark off these distances on their respective construction lines. 1-1 one, one is measured with a compass on the plan view and placed far from the axis A, A as the edges 4, 5, 6 and 7 is closest to the viewing plane and should be immediately visible. Next, 2 is measured off the plan view and its dimensions are marked off on the two construction lines. Note that the bottom of 2 on the plan view is in line with the bottom of 1 in the auxiliary drawing. To work out which points are connected, we look at our front and plan views. One is joined to the bottom of the edges 2, 5 and 7. Therefore we can draw in a straight line from 1 to 5 to 7. Two is joined to three and therefore we can draw a straight line from 2 to 3 on the auxiliary drawing. Similarly, 3 and 4 are joined, so we draw a straight line from 3 to 4. Again, 4 is connected to 5 and 5 to 6. Now 1 is connected to 1 and the top of 1 is connected to 6. The top of 1 is joined to 2 and 3 except that it is hidden detail as the line 1, 2, 3 from the front view has been rotated to the back of the object. Lastly, join edge 7 to 6. Do a logic check. Viewing the object from this side, we should immediately see 1, 6, 7, 5 and 4. However, the line 1, 2 and 3 should not be visible. To construct the secondary auxiliary view, we follow the same procedure. We use the current view, the primary auxiliary view, to project edges and the previous view, the front view, to measure dimensions. Again, follow through by labeling all lines. 6 and 7 on the front view are at the same position. Measure their perpendicular distance to the axis AA and mark this distance off on the construction lines 6 and 7. 6 and 7 are joined in a straight line, so they can be joined on the secondary auxiliary drawing. Measure off perpendicular distances for the rest of the points and mark it off on your secondary auxiliary drawing.
Now 1, 2, 5, 7 are connected and therefore a straight line can be drawn to join these points. 1, 2, 3 and 4 are joined so a line can be drawn to join these points on the secondary auxiliary drawing. Likewise 4 is joined to 5 and 6. Finally, a hidden detail line is drawn from 1 to 6 as the line 1, 6 in the primary auxiliary drawing has been rotated behind and is now invisible.